So I think we've got all of these. PYXDG, let's have a look at that. Uh, BLFS, LS, Python. PYXDG is there, yeah. So all you need to do is download this one. And you can see how small these are and lightweight they are, so it'd be ideal for a, an old machine or a machine with limited resources. Um, not sure how much memory we're using at the moment, let's have a look. 7% of 7 gigs, so that's not a great deal. So it's probably about half a half a gigabyte, roughly. Thereabouts, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, let's try and then free. No, is it free? That's it, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, oh, so it's using 300 megabytes, so it's not too bad. Not a lot at all. In a graphical environment, that's quite good. So you could, in theory, run this on a half gigabyte machine and have a little bit of room to spare. Um, a gigabyte will give you plenty of room for applications. Right, so that should have downloaded. If XOR prefix is not user, tell GCC about it. Okay. So we better do that. Let's just see what library path is at the moment. I keep forgetting to click on the windows now. Alright, okay, so it looks like it's already set anyway. Um, let's just see what that results in. It should be the same. Yeah, it is. So we don't need to run this command because um, it's already um, set to that. If you only installed Python 3x PYXDG module, convert one of the scripts to Python 3. Let's have a look. Does that mean you can install it? Yes, we did. Optional PY2. So does that mean you can install it as Python do? I don't know. But going by what it says here, we did only install Python 3. So... Installed. If you uninstall Python 3, well, let's run this to see what happens. It doesn't really make much sense to me. If you uninstalled it as Python 3, why would you convert it to Python 3? Python 3? I don't understand that, or is there some other meaning to this? Let's see what happens. Import error. Yeah, it looks like it's failing, it's not finding it for Python 2, which is, I imagine, what this is all about. Let's have a look at this file here. Oops. So, let's look for Python. Okay, so it's running an executable Python there at the top, so let's see what that resolved to when we run it. And it does resolve to Python 2 there. So it's strange why this doesn't work. Let's just run it once again. Yeah. 
no files need to be modified yeah but this obviously does because it's trying to run Python 2 which is probably because we've got Python 2 installed alongside Python 3 so that that would have worked you can see it's altered it to Python 3 at the top so that's that should be okay so let's run configure and make and make install open boxes right click menu can be used to launch programs menu itself is configured with two files to make changes to menu copy this file and edit it so it looks like we need to do this as the ordinary user because it's going to the home directory We need a bit of text editor so we can install OB menu. Obviously, to edit it nicely, I imagine. To have icons in your right click menu requires installing IMLib2, which we've got. To set an icon for an entry in the menu, edit and add a icon like this. So, we haven't got M player at the moment, so I'm not going to do that option. Details of the theme that open box applies to the window decorations configured in that file. You can get a list of available themes with this command. So whether or not, again, you can change the theme within um, open box. I imagine you can, I'm not sure. Um, again, you can, if it's just open box, you want to start automatically, you can do X in RC. Um, but I'm not going to do that because we've got the um, desktop manager. If you want to set background image to your desktop, you can just dis use display and and launch it from X and RC just for open box. So I'm not going to do that as well because it will fix that in there. Or if you like a bit of variety, put a selection of images in a folder and choose one at random each time you X in it. So that picks a random one out. If you'd like to have the numlock key set when you start X, XORG, install numlock X and add this to your Excellent RC. Another useful application is DBus. Okay, so um, this looks like somebody uses this quite a lot. There's quite a lot of uh, configuration there. Let's try and use it now. So I'm going to come out of Falcon here quit this and log out uh, log out and now we should be able to choose open box there it is there and let's log in again and yeah this is open box that's all you get and there's a menu Let's just run a couple of applications. Yep, you see they're loading quite quickly as well now because we've got Gwen is not there because we haven't installed KDE and I don't think Dyer is either and I don't think we've installed that. But they're loading quite quickly because we've already loaded them now. Cached obviously. Escape, yep, that's loading quite nicely. Yeah, there's some KDE. Um, and I think Totem's part of GNOME. Yeah, it's obviously like not looking what we've got, it's just assuming certain things because um, Falcon's not there. Rocks, that's the one we loaded. Yeah, there it is there. Okay, looks like that might need a bit of configuring. Emacs, let's run that. That's working. Let's run next term. Yep, let's go into default size. Uh, 
open office we haven't installed yet but we'll do configuration manager let's have a look at that okay all oh, right okay it needs that ob comp file so maybe that's why there is a bit of configuration in text files because um you need that external package so i'm going to log out of this and go back to um the other desktop manager was it Fluxbox? I can't remember which one it was called now. I think it was Fluxbox, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, no, ISWM, sorry. And log back into that. And as you can see, it's not remembering the session, which is a bit unfortunate. So I'll get the Falcon browser, browser back up and next term. Put the fonts back to large and just resize the screen. Okay, that was open box. Let's move on to Sawfish next. This needs one called Rep. Oh, I just remembered I haven't been ticking off these other packages, getting so excited with all these desktop managers, uh, sorry, all these window managers. So let's just go back a bit to Fluxbox, if I remember anything we did here, IMLib2 we did, so that's under X libraries, IMLib, yep we did that one, so let's go forward, Right, I don't think that needed any. Okay, maybe I haven't missed any. I thought I might have missed some. No, I haven't, so that's alright. 